Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be painting a little baby pig. So I start off with a light blue background to help with the light pink that the baby pig is going to have. The colors I am using, I start off with the craft paint uh, foliage green and I mix it with a little bit of uh, Naples yellow hue or white to get that darker green in the background. I did the phthalo blue with a little bit of the Naples yellow and of course add white where needed. So to get that nice blending effect, what you can do is hold your hand at the very edge of your brush and press down really lightly. That's going to blend the colors together. And then to put down more color, you grip it more towards where the bristles are and of course press a little harder. Moving on to the baby pig himself, the edges are extremely white so I used a mixture of pink blush and white together. I'm adding a lot more white than the pink blush, especially on the edges. I'm not really focusing on details, so I'm not really going for the fluffiness of the baby pig yet. For some of the middle shading colors, I actually did a portrait pink mixed with white. To do the shadow of his belly, I did both of my pinks, so the pink blush and the portrait pink, and I mixed it with burnt sienna, although as you can see I did way too much burnt sienna for this little guy. Starting on the nose, I again went with my pink blush or my portrait pink and I did a little bit of burnt sienna for shadows. So the brush I was using before was a one inch flat brush to really get down the basic colors and now I'm switching to this beat up old brush that I have that's just super fluffy and I'm hoping it's really going to help me get some of the white fade around him and in his fur. I mixed a little bit of pink, burnt sienna, and white to create the shadows. 
Later you'll see I thought the shadows were a bit too dark, but that's okay. What's really important is layering. Moving on to the nose, I did take a little bit of the burnt sienna, not mixed with any other color to try to get some of those shadows. I really wanted to focus on the glossiness of the nose. Just like the lips, the nostrils also get just pure burnt sienna, but very little. And then of course I softly blended it in with the pinks as I go out. Starting with the base of the eyes, I took the burnt cyana and I colored them in. Now at this point, I do bring a little dot of pure black into the eyes, but I'm really going to lighten them up as you'll see. So I lighten them up by taking a bit of my pink and putting them in there as a bit of a reflection or glossy type look. And I also add just a little bit of white. I'm not doing any of the shine on them yet, I'm waiting for them to dry. I apologize if it's a bit hard to see in the video, but what I've done is I've went over with a bit of a lighter burnt sienna to make sure I really make his pupil stand out. And heading back to the nose, I decided to add just a little bit of white to again focus on that glossiness. And here I'm taking white and a little bit of the portrait pink to create some shadows, but I'm really trying to cover up that background blue where it really doesn't need to show through. Now that the eyes have dried, I'm taking a bit of a watered down white to get my first layer of the shine in. And then I'll take more thicker white 
and add more shine to the eyes. Again, I'm adding another layer of white, especially along the edges. Again, it is all about layering. Now to make this baby pig extra cute. Taking a small fan brush, I loaded it up with some white and sometimes a little bit of pink where needed, and I went around the edges to make sure that he looked extra fluffy. Because the fan brush is supposed to make things fluffy and represent his fur, I took it to other parts of his body. For example, the shadows of his chest are meant to be a bit more softer. Moving on to the grass, I cleaned off that fan brush and started dipping it in my remaining green paint. I tried to create a soft grass effect with some very bright green and some medium green matching the colors that I've already used in the background. Now, taking a long detailed brush, I dipped it in all the colors of the green and I just started going to town. I would try to stack the colors, so I would go dark, a medium, and then a light, and then do it again and make the stems of the grass shorter as I moved towards the front to make it really look like it was coming towards the viewer. I really tried to make sure I got some grass blades in front of the pig so that way he doesn't look like he's sitting in green water and instead it looks like he's sitting in tall grass.
and here are some last minute details. I used some watered down white to try to add a little bit of a glow in his chest so that way it's not just a solid shadow. I added little whiskers to enhance his cuteness. In certain areas, I made them a little bit more fluffier than others. Gosh, he's just turning out so adorable! I continue to add a little bit of fluff and I add a little bit of shadow or lightness to certain areas to make it a bit more realistic. And that is it. This guy is almost done. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, of course. My description has the reference photo the song, the colors I used, but of course, don't be afraid to ask me any type of questions in the comments. Also, check my description for my other social media and stay tuned. I have many more paintings I've never recorded, so I might make prints of them soon. Thank you for watching!